Yo, what's up guys? It's Seals and I'm going to be making a video about something that you guys have been requesting so many times on Twitch. Uh, you guys wanted to see the rewards for normal and hard vault and so you guys can make some decisions on your own. Um, these are, once again, rewards in Korea right now. They've been altered here and there. So I'm going to be showing you guys what you can do with the rewards as well as talk a little bit about my personal requirements, general requirements for Volton. So let's get right in. All right, let's do the hard mode. Good. Wow, Booba. Okay, so you see the rewards. Thousand gold. Yeah, yeah. Hit this button. And here's the loot. Oh, did she disconnect? Okay, so here's the loot. We have the box. This is a bid system, like Argos box. Has five bones of the beast. Okay, so I'll, I'll buy it for the video, I guess. Alright. It's not gonna go this cheap in an AU, guys. <laughs> and then we get guaranteed um, general engraving. Guaranteed legendary general. No class engraving. Okay? It's a guaranteed from the hard mode. Bam bam. So you could get a grudge or you could get like. Some dog poop one. Alright. And we get these. These are to craft the relic tier sets. As well as to upgrade the quality of the relic tier sets. They're called Chaos Stones. I'm just explaining what drops in Korea. I'm not saying uh, we're going to get the same loot in NAEU. I'm just showing you guys what currently drops here. And then you guys can decide for yourselves. Worth pushing for it. Or just doing normal. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay, someone should take that. Final gold for phase two is 3,500 gold. Now, let's just say you did phase one and you couldn't clear phase two. You'll be locked to phase one, but you'll not be locked for the entire week. You can do phase two at any time with a different group. It's a separate lockout. So, you beat phase one, you claim loot, and there's drama. People fight, you can disband. Come back a different day to do phase two with a different group, with different players. Alright? Now, 3,500 gold. So the rewards are back-ended, yeah? We get these right here. Three more bones. And then additional loot. Should double the bones. A chance to get this. Yeah. It was buff recently. It used to be... Um, 10 bones. It used to be 10 bones. A week for the full clear. Now it's 12 bones. Okay? So with the bonus loot, it's 12 bones. Let me explain this one. This is an item that... Hmm. When you hone... Okay, let me you know what. I'll just show you in town. Okay. So there's the honing lady, right? You do this, slide it down, and you press this button. You can hone it for free here using the second tab. Second tab. You see these? That's the bigger version, the Breshaza version of these. So with these, you can use it for free upgrades. Free upgrades, they consume nothing. Alright? They don't count towards your artisan or anything. Um, you'll get the big rocks, right? The greater leap zones. Those are nice. You saw the relic accessories. Uh, they're generally higher quality, by the way. They're generally higher quality than doing, like, Chaos Dungeons or Guardians. And these, you can't use these until you're 1445. But if you get them at 1415 from doing normal Bolton, which I'll show you very soon. Yeah, I'll show you very soon, right? We'll be doing a normal run as well. But you could just gather these up so that when you're at 1445 one day, you can craft... You can craft the Relic Tier Sets immediately upon hitting 1445. So this is the place. A lot of different Relic Tier Sets. So the Tier Sets will require the Bones from Vartan. As well as um, the Wings from Vicus. All the different Tier Sets have different requirements. Some need more Bones. Some need more Wings. 
Like this set right here, it's the back attack, head attack tier set. Needs wings from four pieces, that's 40 wings, and 35 bones. Nightmare set. You need 35, weapon and helmet. And then chest as well, that's 45 bones. And you need 30 wings. I'll make a bunch of videos about what tier sets you, you should go for. But TLDR, we're not going to have 4-piece. We're not going to have 4-piece. Why? No Vikas. The most we can get is 3-piece. But there's no 3-piece bonus. So you get the 2-piece bonus. You hear me? 2-piece bonus for Nightmare Set is reduce mana consumption by 50%. However, mana consuming skills, the damage of those skills are increased by 12%. While technically you could wear three pieces of gear, there is not a three piece bonus. There's a four piece bonus, but we will not have access to those until Vicus. Alright? Some sets, you cannot get the weapon, right? Because some sets, you need to get the wings from Vicus. The weapon's pretty big because relic weapons, um, it goes up to 30%. The additional damage goes to 30% instead of maximum of 50% for legendary gear. Now, I'm going to transition over to normal Bolton to show you guys the rewards. But any questions, man? Any questions about what I just explained? Ah, that's a good question. Does relic gear... If I craft the relic gear... Like this, do I... If I craft the relic gear, what resets? Does eye level go down? Does the plus go down? No, plus stays the same. So if you are plus 20 legendary, you'll go to plus 20 relic. If you're 1490 legendary, you'll be 1490 relic. The only thing that changes, you cannot carry over the legendary quality to the relic quality. Unless things change. This is in Korea, okay? In Korea, you cannot transfer over the legendary quality to the relic quality. And in order to increase your relic quality, you use these boys. This is the gold sink that I was talking about. The Chaos Stones. So these are the quality increasing uh, NPCs. This is a completely separate video with pie charts and stuff. But yeah. Okay, no bones from our memory. No bones in the first hard mode clear. I remember they gave a lot of these. I think it was like eight of these and a lot of these. If I remember correctly. Oh, the gems were not part of the hard mode clear, by the way. This one. This box. The auction. Five extra. So 17. Zeals, I need 35. How many weeks will it take me for the two-piece? I could craft the weapon and the helmet. I need 35, Zeals. How many weeks will it take me? Three weeks, chat. Yeah, three weeks. Why? If you bonus loot for three weeks, you get 12 plus 12 plus 12, which is 36. So you'll get the two-piece bonus in three clears. Now, what if you get bonus loot? You get five more. Okay. You still need three weeks. <laughs> now, back in the day, I need to remind you once again, because people have selective hearing. Back in the day, Korea, it used to be 10, guys. 10 for bonus loot. With bonus loot, it was 10. And then additional loot was 5 from the auction. Alright? Back in the day, that was the case. If this is the case in NAEU, you need more than three weeks. So you might have to buy one chest if you want to get it in three weeks. And don't ask, don't come in my chat and ask me if it's worth it. Okay? Worth is up to you. If you want to rush. If you can wait, you're patient. Tier sets, they're not going anywhere. But if you want to enjoy the power spike. Because it's like having another row of engravings. Then, you know, you treat yourself. Oh, I almost forgot to hit record. Alright, this is the normal one, boys. Alright, here's the rewards. Got these little... Uh, sinews? You call them sinews? Anyways, we get three of those. Bonus loot. 500 gold. The gold has been changed. It's been nerfed. In Korea. Once again, in Korea. I gotta always say this. This is not the final product in NAU. Okay, got double. So we get no engravings in normal mode. In Korea. I gotta say in Korea so many times. Okay? Because they're gonna see this video. And they're gonna be like, oh, how come it's different in NAU? Bro, just uh, in Korea, this is how it looks. Nobody buys this in Korea, bro. Nobody goes after this tier set. We just skip to Relic. But that's only in Korea, of course. 
and we don't get the chaos stone we don't get anything just this box and this lonely thing right here okay and we got 2,000 gold so in total 2,500 gold in Korea hard mode drops 4,500 gold in Korea normal is 2,500 all right bonus loot all right that's what it looks like okay just showing you guys the rewards oh got a card pack rare not that great but six bones and 12 sinews once again in Korea and I did win the chest at the uh, the auction yeah I won the auction at the end we'll take a look at that in town so with the sinews okay we can craft the legendary uh, beast strength set. The four piece is pretty good. It increases the damage increase. And then for 10 seconds, um, attack and movement speed increases by 10%. All right. So that's the four piece bonus. So you can maybe use the four piece bonus with the relic two piece bonus for the time being, depending on when Vicus comes out. But that means that you want to do normal after doing hard mode. I don't know about that. I'd rather just... We'll see. More on that later. More on optimizing tier sets in a future video, okay? So from the mail, it's going to be five in here. I don't think this has ever been changed. All right, so it's five. And to craft this set, 25 for weapon. Almost similar to Aragos. And we cannot get the six piece. Why? Vicus drops the toenails. I, I don't know what it's called. I don't know the translation. It looks like toenails, okay? So the max is four piece. That's why I only explained what the four piece does. We still got the relic accessories. You can see the quality overall isn't that great versus the hard mode clear, but it's still decent compared to Chaos Dungeons. So you can imagine a 1415 main or alt. If you farmed it every week, you'll amass these, right? With the bonus loot, you'll amass these. So by the time you get 1445, you'll have a couple of these laying around. Alright? So you could go transition into the Relic tier sets pretty quickly. The basic requirements that I think, in my opinion, um, to go to Bolton. Like, three engravings is fine. Three, you don't even need grudge. Just three rolls of engravings. If you have three, 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 and one here, that's fine too. You don't need four, but there will be, of course, some groups asking you to have four. But you don't have to go to those groups. You can just make your own group if you want. But I think, personally, three is fine. Three plus one is okay. Three plus two is fine. Four is, I think, an overkill. In terms of gems, um, having the purple, the grapes, level five gems are fine. I think, I've asked my chat. I have, I've asked my free-to-play players in chat at Twitch. If they have full sevens. And some of y'all said you have full sevens. Almost full sevens as free to play. That's overkill. <laughs> that is, I didn't even have seven for the first 20 Bolton kills. Yeah, I didn't have sevens until like way, way, way later. I did not have sevens in Korea. But yeah, fives are fine, man. They're perfectly fine. Cards, you don't need the crit set. Um, you can just go with the cards you have for Argos. Okay, so the purpose of the video once again is to show you guys rewards for hard and normal in Korea at the current time with the buffs and the nerfs to gold for normal um, Buffs to some of the rewards like the sinew and the bones. Okay now once again I don't know what the rewards are gonna look like in NAEU. We'll Take a look Yeah Let's see if we get class engravings on all the accessories. In Korea, we do not get class engravings on all the accessories. Very... It's just random. 